the buck 85 for the Bermans. Holy smolies! And here's some organic. $1.95. Could you imagine that? $1.95 for organic. Could that be right? That's right. $2.39 for this. That's not bad. That's really good. I think that's a bargain right there. $2.39. See this whole wheat? Wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This looks really good. Whole wheat, $2.39. $2.29, that's the mild banana pepper rings, and these are the bomb. These are really good, 16 ounces, $2.29. I'm gonna get two of the guys right here because they're just, these are these are the best I've ever had. These are just really delicious, and the price, you just can't beat this. Deli sliced mild banana pepper rings, $2.29. I'm sold on the guys, I actually found them. I'm glad I looked. I looked way in the back, and they're hiding back there. You can't, you can run, but you can't hide, guy. <laughs> Inflation and the cost of living is a runaway train. I told my wife that today. We went out to uh, in Tampa, Florida, and we had uh, lunch at the, uh, a Chinese restaurant. We were celebrating our 12th anniversary. Anyways, uh, it, it was expensive. <laughs> I know I've complained already. Anyways, I, I told her, I said, I noticed that the wonton soup, I said, the bowls are smaller, and I said, the servings are smaller, and they raised the prices. And I said, well, I, that's typical here. I said, that's what you do. You pay more, you get less. That's all that, That's all that's happening anymore. And in my last video, a lot of people said, hey, you, you forgot, you left out rent. Rent's gone way up. You, you forgot about electricity. You forgot about uh, the car insurance. You forgot about uh, the extra uh, Medicaid Part B. Everything is going up. I, I didn't forget about it. I mean, the list is really long <laughs> of all the things that are going up in price. And, you know, the, we just can't afford to uh, uh, live anymore on, on what we're making now. And then fixed incomes. When I retire in a couple, uh, couple three years, if I, if I even can do that, you know, we have to see what's going on. I mean, what am I going to get? $2,500 a month of Social Security? How do you live on that? And my wife, too. You know, how do you live on that? How do we how do we survive? How do we make it? And what's going to happen next year? Can you imagine that if uh, if the same administration is in there? What's going to happen? Holy cow, I, I hate to even think about it. Well, anyways, today we're back here at Aldi, and I want to check some prices. I want to get, uh, get some bread, and I want to get my, yeah, I'm going to get the banana peppers here because I'm out really good banana peppers here they're not the mount olive stuff and people tell me shut up about the mount olive well <laughs> well okay anyways i'll do a whole video on it but anyways we're at aldi here we're going to check some prices i know we're going to find some bargains that's what i'm hoping for so let's head in let's have some fun like and subscribe come on let's go shopping thanks hon this is a brand new shopping center and i did this aldi a few weeks ago and you have an aldi you have a home goods you have a marshall's a crunch fitness five below pet supplies alta and then um some kind of nail lounge and look at all the new construction over there there's new construction everywhere you look around here it's it's everywhere it's just i mean it's omnipresent construction construction everywhere all the shopping centers, all the subdivisions just popping up. It's just crazy. Well, once you walk in, I notice some empty uh, items here, but avocados are 59 cents. 59 cents. I think avocados have actually come down in price. And here's the Macintosh apples, three pounds for $2.99. That's a good deal here. And, um, oh, here's the cantaloupe. Someone, don't touch them. They're poison. $2.89. I'm not touching them. But someone said there's a, uh, a problem with the cantaloupes. And uh, I know the ones at Walmart, the problem is they're rotten. $2.89 though, expensive. Kiwis, $2.69. Mangoes, $1.29. Now I'm afraid to touch fruit. But um, these these are a little bit soft, but a buck twenty-nine. Oh, here's your personal watermelons, $3.69. I think I could touch the guys. I don't know why they're personal lemons or water watermelons. <laughs> I can't talk today. $3.69. And a dollar sixty-nine for a pineapple. I know they're not Hawaiian, and they're not Philippine from the Philippines. That would have, by the time they get here, they'd be rotten. But a dollar sixty-nine, holy cow! Three ninety-nine for Bartlett pears. Bartlett pears, three pounds. Uh, there you go. Honeycrisp apples, a dollar eighty-nine a pound. That's kind of high for an Aldi. I'm surprised. But the other ones, Pink Ladies, are three three ninety-nine. Three ninety nine, but I like the honey. I like the honey crisp better. These look really good. These look nice. They, I think they're waxed. Look how beautiful they are. And uh, what else? Red Delicious two eighty nine. Granny Smith two ninety nine. Three forty nine. 
they're about an uh, apples are about a dollar a pound here boston lettuce here and it's really expensive for this stuff what do you get two ounces of this and it's 229 i don't know why it's so expensive and the green leaf lettuce here it looks good and this is refrigerated here a greenhouse grown from tennessee a dollar 95 there's a lone cucumber hey guy he said take me home a <laughs> dollar 49 for the flat leaf spinach and you get how many ounces of it you get eight ounces of it i don't think that's too bad you don't have to waste any here's some mushrooms here a buck 79 sliced mushrooms and here's the portabellas same price as before 249 and the regular mushrooms oh here's the cucumber guy he wants to go home they're all 69 cents they've always been that way the grapes are 5.99 that's a little pricey a little pricey there and your pineapple spears 350 cantaloupe cut up 329 uh, cantaloupe's expensive i don't think i want to touch it the green onions are 85 cents 85 cents and you get two packages of it combined in one a buck 69 for yeah. the green grapes yeah. yeah that's not bad you know they look good a buck 69 i'll have to tell my wife about it product of brew well what are you going to do blackberries 229 they're always pricey but you know, at least you eat them. A dollar thirty-nine for radishes. See, these look good too. A dollar thirty-nine. You're not going to find that at Walmart or Publix. And then the the Brussels sprouts, a buck ninety-nine, and you get a pound of the Brussels sprouts. I like that. Freshshire Farms. I like the name. A buck ninety-nine. I like the price too. Let's look at some of the. Um, this is the. Oh, this organic. This is organic celery. I don't see the price. Organic baby spinach, two two eighty nine. This is still cheaper than you'd find anywhere else for organic stuff. Spring mix, four four eighty nine. Here's your organic hearts, three sixty nine. And the bioengineered corn is three twenty nine. Holy smolies! Fresh Shire Farms from Aldi. It's from Illinois. Three nineteen for organic strawberries. Come out of there, guy! Holy cow! That's the small. These are the small strawberries I've ever seen for three dollars and nineteen cents. Let's check out the tomatoes and the romas are still 89 cents a pound. They're awful tiny, but still, you know, these are, the, these are the tiniest Roma tomatoes I've ever seen, but 89 cents a pound. You can't beat 89 cents for the romas uh, these days. Organic yellow potatoes, 349. Organic zucchini, 229 a pound. And what else? These little guys snacking tomatoes on the vine, 249. They look good. But they're still pricey. $2.89 for those tomatoes. $4.99 for the party pack. A party pack of tomatoes. $4.99. Oh. I've never tried these, but I don't want to spend five bucks. Tomatoes on the vine, $2.89 for these guys here. 59 cents for the avocados and, and the green peppers are $2.29 for three of them. I think they've gone up, but you get three of them. That's not too bad. And the, the mini sweet peppers are $3.19. They all look really good. They do look good. And here's your jalapenos. They're 95 cents. And you get four of the guys, but they're monsters. 95 cents. I think that's a little pricey. Let's look at the mandarins. 359. My wife got a package of these the other day. And I said, yeah, I get them. 359. They're really good. Oh my gosh. I was sitting on the couch eating them yesterday. Plums are 379. I do like oh, these are prunes, but they call they're here in the plums. So, you know, oh, there's the plums right there. Then your seedless lemons are $2.29. And how many you get in here? You get four. You get four lemons. Well, you know, 59 cents a pound. Pomegranates are sad looking. A buck 69 each. And grapefruit are $4.99. $4.99. They're the size of an orange. Actually, oranges are bigger than these guys. And uh, how much you get? You get five pounds, four ninety nine. Florida navels, I, Florida navels, three eighty nine. Well, I don't know. I guess it's not too bad. You get five of them here, five of these guys. Happy food is what it says, three eighty nine. I guess it's not too bad compared to everything else. And here's some limes here, two forty five, two forty five for limes. My gosh. Let's look at some of the peanuts. I'm working my way down to the banana peppers here. $2.29 for the dry roasted. $2.29 for the unsalted dry roasted. Cashews. Sweet and savory bar mixes. Oh, that's stuff like this. Not interested in that. But here's your different mixed nuts. 
$12.99. Oh, I think you could do better at Sam's. $10.99 for deluxe cashews right here. Save 50 whole cents. Pistachio shelled $4.09. $4.09 with no shells. You get six ounces. Well, pistachios are always expensive. And then shell on $4.89. Italian dressing here, $1.95. All the dressings here, let me see, $219, $249 for the oil and vinegar. And ranch right here, Tuscan Garden, $335. I don't know about that stuff. And here we go, we're into the, oh, we're into the deli sliced hot jalapenos, $229. But where, where are my, I don't see my banana peppers. I don't see them. I'm disappointed. I came all the way here for them. And they were, they were this brand, too, the Tuscan Garden. I don't see them. Holy smolies. Nope, they're not here. Highly disappointed. But these olives, a buck fifty-nine, still a good price. And the Kalamata, Kalamata olives, two oh nine. That's a good price, too. And some of these specialty olives, two forty-nine. Good prices on this stuff. Let's check out the mayonnaise here. Miracle Whip is five forty-eight. Here's the Bermans here, 319. Someone said it's really good. And um, the Dukes is 464. And here's your really good deal on your ketchup is $1.85. A buck 85 for the Bermans. Holy smolies. And here's some organic, $1.95. Could you imagine that? $1.95 for organic. And here's your here's your mustard here, 95 cents. 95 cents. Your Dijon's a buck 25. In this right here, like Sweet Baby Ray's, but this is not Sweet Baby Ray's. It's packaged like it, and it's a dollar forty-five. I'll take that stuff right there. Soy sauce, all this soy sauce here, which is liquid salt, reduced sodium, a <laughs> dollar fifty-five. That's really good. You know, guess what? I decided I come back here to look at these, and I said maybe there's some banana peppers hiding. And you know what? I found them. They're all back here. They're hiding. These are the banana peppers, and they're two twenty-nine for the guys. 229 that's the mild banana pepper rings and these are the bomb these are really good 16 ounces 229 I'm gonna get two of the guys right here because they're just these are these are the best I've ever had these are just really delicious and the price you just can't beat this deli sliced mild banana pepper rings 229 I'm sold on the guys I actually found them I'm glad I looked I looked way in the back and they're hiding back there you can't you can run but you can't hide guy <laughs> Anyways, stay there. Don't fall. I don't want to have to pay for them. And the bread and butter chips. Haven't tried these, but two nineteen. Really good prices here. Look at the relish. Look at the sweet relish you get. A buck fifty nine. I mean, I just think Aldi is uh, really good prices on stuff. I'm really impressed. Let's check out the onions. Sweet onions, three pounds or a dollar ninety nine. Yellow onions are two fifteen. And yellow potatoes are three ninety nine. And you get. Potatoes, I've noticed, have come down a little bit, and the onions in price. Garlic is not $1.79 for three of these guys. Holy cow. White onions, $1.99. Red onions, $1.99. You get two pounds there. And what are the sweet potatoes? $2.29 right here. Produce of USA. Look at that. And they're a little small, but, you know, $2.29 a pound. At least the price is smaller. Large baking potatoes. Five pounds is four nineteen here. Four nineteen. You got a lone grape in here. <laughs> Let's check some of the bread here. Whole wheat bread right here. That's called Loven Fresh. It's their brand. A buck eighty-five. Two oh nine for this butter bread. This looks really good. I don't think I could convince, convince my wife out of uh, her brand, but uh, two oh nine for this. And grain bread here. This is whole grain bread. Could that be right? That's right. Two thirty-nine for this. That's not bad. That's really good. I think that's a bargain right there. Two thirty-nine. See this whole wheat. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This looks really good. Whole wheat. Two thirty-nine. Honey wheat. Buck seventy-five. Split top wheat. Right here is a dollar twenty-nine. And where's the white bread that? I, <laughs> believe it or not, I give I give this to my Labradors when. When they're begging when we're eating dinner, it, and they love the stuff because 80 pound Labrador is going to gobble it down in one bite, so I'm going to get me a loaf of this. A buck 29. Your hamburger buns, a buck 29. Hot dog buns, a buck 29. Nothing wrong with these guys. Nothing wrong. 12 ounces, a dollar, a dollar 29. 
I call these a bargain. Oh, the brioche, look, it came down, 319. This is the cheapest I've ever seen brioche hot dog buns. $3.19, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I noticed they have blue corn tortilla chips made with sea salt, gluten-free, and I love blue corn chips. If you've never tried them, $2.29 for the organic and even the multi-grain, but $2.29 for this, and it's 8.25 ounces. That's a good deal right there. And here's your salsa. I don't know what this is like, $2.49. 219 for this big monster here 24 ounces of their salsa and here's some of their <laughs> here's some of their cheese spread right here uh the queso dip right there that's a dollar 99 you never get that at walmart or publix or kroger and here's clancy's cheese dip 359 and here's this this uh <laughs> this stuff i used to take camp but look at this oh yikes i don't think i want any of that crap it says say cheese 249 here's your uh here's your Velveeta. Four, four ninety-nine. They have a lot of cheeses here. Uh, cube cheese right here is two oh nine. There's eight ounces of it. Jalapeno artichoke dip three thirty-nine. Some other dip right here. Hummus is two forty-nine. Here's a small vanilla hummus. Never heard of that. Dollar ninety-nine. Organic salsa two seventy-nine for this. Ooh, that might not be bad right there with those with those blue corn tortilla chips and look at they've sealed it pretty good I like that that's probably not bad at all and here's some fresh salsa here this looks really good that does look really good with cilantro in there fresh cut fresh cut salsa 249 I like it I like it and here's some other cheeses here but you know you're getting the small little wedges here Aguda 399 you get six ounces. Here's some other ones. They're really tiny. See that? <laughs> $3.99. Never heard of this stuff before. Port, Port Salut. Parmesan. That's Parmesan. I was going to say Parmesan or Reggiano, but Asiago cheese. This is my favorite right here. I combined the two. Parmesan and um, the Asiago and Romano. Really good. $4.39. That's not bad for a wedge. And I noticed right here, looks like they have sharp cheddar on sale. $1.39 for 8 ounces. $1.39. The rest of it's $1.99 for 8 ounces. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Your your singles here are $1.89. Then you go into your craft singles. You buy the name brand, $4.98. And you go into the unnamed brand, $1.89. I know you get less, but look at the price difference. $1.89, $4.98. No way. See, you buy the branded crap and uh, you're gonna pay. Let's check out some of the uh, flaky uh, biscuits here, a buck 75. I'm a biscuit guy, I really like my bread. Look at this is liver sausage, it's called brown schweiger. And um, look at that, that's pretty good, 285 for that. This is really good on crackers with hot mustard. And some of these sausages here, cheddar brats, 339. Some of your uh, lunch meats here, ham slices, 12 ounces. 349 and this is 449 a pound never any uncured ham I'm just looking at stuff here trying to get an idea uh, an idea 449 for this and this whole thing this whole package is 1042 this is comparable to what I've seen at Walmart before not Publix they're insane now we're into the seafood fresh steelhead trout that's not steelhead trout that's Pacific cod it's $9.99 a pound. There it is, $9.99 a pound. And here's some of your lightly smoked Atlantic salmon, $10.99 a pound. Here's your coho. I haven't seen coho in a while. Product of Chile, so that means it's farm raised, $10.99 a pound. And here's your Atlantic salmon, which we know is farm raised, a big slab of it, $8.99 a pound. It's not that orange. It's not that orange for uh, farm raised salmon. What's the pork right here? Three fifty-nine a pound, and um, it doesn't look bad, but it's it's more price. It's pricier than uh, pricier than uh, Sam's Club. Thin sliced pork, four sixty-nine a pound, and how much are the pork chops here? Three seventy-nine a pound. You can get this every day for a dollar ninety-seven a pound at um, Sam's. Of course, you're buying in bulk there. You got to remember that and. Um, Right here, a Boston pork butt. I always like the name pork butt. Uh, butt roast, $1.89 a pound, so that's not bad. $11.76 for that. 
that looks good. It's boneless too. That's boneless, so that's a bargain. Your hamburger is five eighty nine a pound. It looks good, ninety five percent lean, but it's five eighty nine a pound. Hamburger's not cheap. Not cheap. Great for fajitas. Black Angus is six seventy nine a pound for sirloin, thin cut. That's pricey for sirloin. Here's top sirloin here, and that's seven ninety nine a pound. And your your ribeyes here. They don't look too bad, but they're 14 bucks a pound. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous thin sliced beef ribeye here. This looks a little wonky there. <laughs> uh, the, the fat just doesn't look right, and it's $8.99 a pound. I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I'd rather have it packaged here, but I know this is sealed tight. I know people say, you're sticking your finger through it. $11.99 for grass-fed New York strip. And Black Angus New York strip, how much is this? $11.99 a pound for that. And chicken is how much chicken leg quarters I really like. Our dollar nineteen a pound for this. That's not bad. That's not bad. I do like the leg quarters. How much is the chicken ground chicken? $3.42. And your chicken breasts are still $2.29 a pound. $2.29 a pound for the chicken breast. I think this is the best bargain here for that. And your chicken breast in the smaller package, three forty-nine a pound for that. My gosh, but this this is still a bargain here, and you can see people have been buying it up two twenty-nine a pound. Well, let's check the Coke products, a buck ninety-six. Well, you know, it's just expensive. Lee, you're paying for the name right there, and six forty-eight for the twelve packs of the Coke right there. Just your regular original and your water, seven forty-nine. Seven forty-nine for the water. Are you kidding me at all? Oh, it's some kind of flavored water. Oh, big deal. And how much is the regular water? Three fifty-nine. These are the mini pack. These are the mini packs. They're what little twelve ounce. They're ten ounce bottles. They're they're ten ounce frickin' bottles. Oh, that's a bunch of crap. In the Gatorade is seven twenty-eight. We're at seven forty-eight at the Walmart, and this will probably be about eight forty-eight at Publix. It looks like the eggs have gone up a little bit. What's happening with the eggs? A dollar eighty-two for a dozen of the white. And the milk is still $2.82, so that's pretty good. Almost the same price at Walmart, but I'm worried about the eggs. We're going to have another egg shortage here. How can they do that to us? Oh, I see Twizzlers, and I really love Twizzlers. And this, this is $3.44 for a pound of the dang things. I tell you, they, they have really gone up, and I don't get it what the deal is with the Twizzlers. And peanut, this is a sharing bag. Look at this. It's 10 ounces, and they call this a sharing bag, and it's $4.78. <laughs> I don't like to share with anybody. <laughs> not when it comes to M&M's. But, but $4.78 for 10 ounces of M&M's is not a bargain. I found some other Coke right here. And this is the, the Christmas Coke six-pack. $6.44 for this. And you get three of them. These are kind of neat. This would, these would make a great gift. And I believe that these are the ones that use, that use real sugar. They have real sugar in it. No, wait a minute. It says high fructose corn syrup. And I thought these were the, the Cokes, the original taste of these things. But it's not, and it's six forty-four for the six-pack. That's not right. They're disguised as the, because they import coke from Mexico that is eight ounces like this, and it is real sugar, not the high fructose corn syrup. But they're disguising it now, calling it the Christmas six-pack for six forty-four. Could you imagine? You're paying over a dollar for one of these. No way. Six dollars and forty-four cents for this coke. Would you buy it? It's high fructose corn syrup. Holy smokes! And all your spices, which I heard are really good brands, um, whatever they use here, two twenty nine for your ground cumin and garlic powder. All this, two twenty nine, and your regular stuff. Look at this ground cumin here, ninety nine cents, ninety nine cents. Onion powder, oregano leaves, ninety nine cents. Vanilla extract, always expensive, three forty nine. Your salt, one pound, is sixty four cents. Really good deals. Let's look at the oil here. Canola oil here, three ninety nine. Corn oil, that's four ninety five. A gallon, is it a gallon? It's one gallon. Vegetable oil, eight seventy five. Here's some of your olive oil sprays, three forty five. And here's, look at the here spray right here. Canola oil spray, two thirty nine. And here's some olive oils here, five oh nine. Oh, they're plastic, but five oh nine. And here's some organic stuff back here, and it's glass, it's glass. And ding, it's 
I don't know which one it is here. It's either $8.99 or $5.79. <laughs> it's not in the right spot. Grapeseed oil, $4.49. And the avocado, it's the 500 degree smoke point. I always use that right there. 500 degrees, $5.65 for the guy. That's not too bad, but we get it um, We get it in the bigger uh, container. And it might e equal out $11, and I think we get about 32 ounces at Sam's. So that's not bad. That's not a bad price right there. Well, that's it for today. That's going to wrap it up. And you guys got to saw my wife. Yeah, the, she's over at Marshall's spending money. I hope she's using her card. But it comes out of the same spot. What am I going to do? <laughs> Anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the show today. Found a lot of bargains here. Aldi is becoming my favorite store now. So give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.